you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's gonna hit him. Bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin. He's gonna hit him. Oh my God! Just walk the other way. That's crazy. And to be honest, that's how it was. Literally, he can just pay off anybody. Come on, baby, I'm gonna pass your ass. I wanna try to pass you before we get to the this corner. Oh, <laughs> alright, we're still good. We're alright. Uh uh, uh uh. You ain't doing that. You think you'd be better than me? Oh! Oh my god. Relax. What's going on, this is Johnny, and welcome back to Mafia Definitive Edition. We're getting right back into the story here. Last night, we got initiated into the family, uh, and I don't know. I just want to see what's going to happen, man. This is, uh, this entire game's a doozy, if you will. Ordinary routine, 1930. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories. Sure, keep that on so country. I can make sure we ain't... Mostly, we just waited. Framey. I got to thinking, maybe life in Cillieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I, I know? Finish it all. You, Tommy? Yeah. Get it back. Boss is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so let's go talk to the Dawn here. Meet with Cillieri. You got it, sir. Jump up in here. Always sitting at that is. table. Sorry, I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe they'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Let's go, boys. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Oh, Interesting. Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. All right, let's go talk to Vincenzo. See what he's got for us. Maybe he has some guns or something. He's the one that has all the guns and uh, things. Hey, just the guy. What's going on? I saw this, and I thought of you. Ooh, give me a pistol now, huh? All right, let's pick it up. Yeah. Ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Oh, we're just gonna shoot it in the house, huh? Okay. Good posture, real meat bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay? Now show me a reload. Not at me, you moron. I open the chamber and away you go. Let's go. Right. Ooh, fast as hell, too. This thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in the Stick hole. Stick it too. in your belt. Good Got it. To go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. <laughs> Thanks, Vincenzo. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Finny. Yo, we got a detective. An item collected. I ain't gonna go for collectibles, but it was just sitting there. We saw it last episode, so why not? Alright, let's go ahead down and uh, let's get this car. Talk to Ralph. Man, I love Ralph, man. He's the best. To be honest with you. He's like my favorite character so far. I spoke to Biff. He said Morello Ooh, what's this? since he lost the cars. Uh, year one since uh one year since the crash. The worst panic in Wall Street's peacetime history was one year ago today, and still no escape from the wider economic depression that has followed it. Unemployment reached eight percent this month, but given the prevailing trend of shuttering businesses, banks, and foreclosed farmsteads, some economists Warn that this could be double, perhaps even triple in the coming years. Special picture features showing scenes from every state. Man, it sounds like what happened this year. The whole pandemic and whatnot. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And in the afternoon to f f fix the window back up. 
watch. And learn. I like this guy, man. I'm You're telling you. You're a regular you. magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Big fan of this guy, man. I love this guy. Ralphie. Come on, Tommy. Show me what you Oh, we were doing this, huh? Old pick lock. Okay, okay so there's no little mini game? Alright. Have a good day, Fuffa fellas. Oh, is, is it on? They even sound like it freaking started up there for a second. First we got Al. There we go. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Alright, let's get out of here. Drive to the first collection. Now right, we gotta be careful for the. Can't a guy right out my freaking way, man. Man. Man, living back in the, these these this era, this these times would be just. It would be pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone is you know not fat, except for probably the bosses and stuff. But like. I don't know, this seems like simpler times. I don't know why I went to straight, like, not fat, but, like, I just feel like ever since processed sugar came, everyone just became super fat. Everyone's well-dressed. Everyone has, like, their thing that they want to accomplish. Like, it's just, I don't okay, know. Okay, this is it. And I would love to be a part of the Mafia, to be Watch honest with you. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Okay. Excuse me. I'm getting out of my car, sir. Even the cars are pretty sweet, too. Open the door. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! I saw little. Read note. Uh, this letter is a notification that you were in default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loan. This amount has been overdue since July 15th, 1930. You have ignored requests to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I will have no choice but to instruct this bank to begin the foreclosure process in your home and business. Please act accordingly. Until now, she's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's <laughs> oh, good to hear, Al. Real good. <laughs> now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you're worried. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia? Who's okay. this? Can we talk to her? You gonna take all day, Tommy? Where's we the money? Oh, okay, so you're just not gonna speak English. Uh, brown envelope. Okay. We got a collectible. Listen, she's probably just cussing at us in like freaking Italian or something crazy. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. Everything because of the prize, man. All about money for the mafia. All about money. <clears throat> cool. Get back in the truck. Or I guess car. Come on, dude. Don't take your time, Al. Or not Al, sorry. Alright, where okay. are we going now? Next up, we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Good. Well, let's get it going. used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Hi, right, boss. 
<clears throat> you got a police car on, here on the, on the left-hand side. So far, we haven't got any trouble with the cops. But that's not to say that's not gonna happen anytime soon, so we just gotta be very careful. Hey, you're fine. I seize ya. You as well, I seize ya. Alright, take this left here. I'm the Mafia, I can do what I want. I can drive how I want, I can do what I want. And there's nothing you can there's do about it. I'll kill ya. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Sure, I'm sure. Do I get out too? He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. He I'm here gunshots. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Okay. He's yeah, roughing him up. You ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, hey. guy ended up in a wheelchair. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. You just beating him up in there. He's gonna come out like, got it. <laughs> like, nothing happened. Guarantee it. Here he comes. He's a fast <laughs> worker. <laughs> oh, I love it. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Once he's back on his feet? <laughs> oh my god. Wanna come out with us again, Tom. Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all. I'm not saying that, Sam. I. You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. They're trying to bullshit us, man. Trying to... Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here, it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, We're really just out here right now. Earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. True. Like I said, money is like the big else thing here. Miss the side of streets and sidewalks. You know, it's for the great outdoors, Polly. He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we- Okay, there it is. Finally.
Okay. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Oh, we're waiting for him? All right. Oh, they're going to go in. They're going to try some ruckus, and then they're going to come out. And they're like, get in the car. Guarantee it. I'm calling it. What's going to happen? Yep, I knew it. Tom! Tom, I, I took what? Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Where's the other guy? They're trying to beat information out of them. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay. Okay, just hang on. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got this. We got this. That's the reason why they gave us a freaking um pistol. Books are open. Here we go. Got Find a way into the motel. Alright, we can't go in the front door, apparently, huh? Alright, so we gotta go on the side, probably, somewhere. It's a nice motel, though. All wood cabin-y. Alright, let's, let's... Let's sneak a little bit here. Okay. The top. Sure is. Gonna take you down. Get a better shot. Go. He's out of here. Yeah, I'll look, but I don't like it. Maybe he's over there. Over here. <laughs> oh. oh my. Where is he? I worked out perfectly. I was trying to like hit B and take him out like silently, but that didn't really work out as planned, you know. All right, we got thirty-three shots. I missed literally all those. I'm not gonna lie to you. Gotta reload. Take those pills. Uh, I don't think I'm not reading that. We're in the freaking middle of a fight right now. swing my thing over so I could shoot him, but didn't work out too much. Still got 30 shots, so we're kind of chilling. Nothing back here we can't pick up. The sounds in this game are phenomenal, though. They did a really good job on that. Okay. Wait. Swap pocket pistol? Service revolver. All right, we'll we'll figure it out. Here we go. Sam, oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ! Uh, come on. You be I hope all right. okay. You're tough as nails. Oh. oh shit. They took the money, didn't they? That's our the money. money Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Okay, here we go. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! Let's go. Alright, money, here we go. Catch the thug and get the money. Oh, I can- I have instant ammo? Oh, hell yeah. Get close up there. Got him. Come on, baby. Gotta get that freaking shot. And we have infinite info, so we're just gonna continue to shoot, hold the trigger down, and just let it rock. Can't see it so good, so bright. Here we go. Here we go. 
We're fine. Wait for it. You're gonna burn. No, I'm not. What? That hit me. He got me. Fuck. Got him. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. I mean, but what I are you doing go here? Go back to being a nobody. My God. Shatter complete ordinary routine. My jeez, man. Well, we got the money for the for the dawn, so. so that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And then next, you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, I wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn 10. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Hmm. Do another chapter, shall we? We I hear it. Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! He's a Moron. big boy. The drama, your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's gonna hit him. Bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got He's gonna hit him. Oh my God! Just walk the other way. That's crazy. And to be honest, that's how it was. Literally, he could just pay off anybody. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there that says Marilla made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I'm Don Square. Maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze out for protection. Me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days we was also having a bit of fun. Hmm. Alright, we'll do this one and we'll uh, end it. 
Fair Play, 1932, so we're two years after now. Still in the 30s, though, obviously. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. <clears throat> He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Let's go. Sarah, can I get a drink here? Why are you standing like that? You good? Sure thing. Your pop you Why are you standing like that? <laughs> you kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving. All right, let's go talk to Ralph, I guess. God, I love the Ralph guy, man. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, bona say the time. What's going on, my guy? So that's a five, a six. Oh, he's right there. I didn't, wasn't paying attention. Hey, T.T. Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is. Then look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. And then there's this other guy, L -L Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Gi Gi Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -B Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Okay. Huh? Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your m -m motor safe where no one can take them, Feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Can I freaking use this car? Oh, here we go. Get a car in the garage. I want something fast. Oh, man. Woo! Okay, I think we should take the freaking convertible out. We'll see what this one does. Oh my god! Look at this bad boy! Dude, this thing scoots! Holy shit! Look at this! We're still burning out! Bro, oh my! Of course there's a cop here. I'm hoping he kinda turns, I don't wanna get the cops on us now. These fast cars are great, but they don't have that much good handling. That good of handling, so... We'll kind of just wait on it. There you go, he's turning. And we'll just kind of scoot by him a little bit. Okay, now we can go. Like, I know we could have, like, outraced him or, like, outdid it, but... These cars... I really don't feel like, uh... Destroying it or anything. Just like I did there, apparently. Ah! Dude, this thing is so fast. My god. I need to go to the racetrack. 
got to get there one piece without destroying my car. Here we go. I mean, this thing actually is turning is not bad. It's super fast, though. I will not lie about that. I wonder where we got this car at. Did it come with you, the, the definitive yep. edition, or...? We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Like, I don't care. Just give me the money. Do what you gotta do. Get out of here. <sighs> Tomorrow morning, they start coming. This Whole car is city. super... They smuggle in hooch. Super small, though. Fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. All right. Is there any guard? Um, are we getting set up? I wonder. You can definitely see that. Well, do, do what you gotta do. Let's go. Oh man, look at that thing. Here she is. Oof. 1929 Carazella C series. We got a record. <laughs> they see this down the road. Cops are going to ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it in one piece too, huh? You got it. So, I got to be back from Breton by 1:30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. All right. I heard. Okay, so we got three. We got four minutes. We got to get this going. We got to get that there and then back. So, oh my god, this thing freaking scoots, bro. It is not good at turning, though. Okay, we gotta watch our cops, too, as well. As well as not hitting anything on the way out, so we gotta be very careful. If I go focus mode and don't talk, you know why. Okay, so far so good. I knew it. My god, this thing is ridiculous, man. God, dude, this thing, it's, it's just crazy. It is so fast. We're out of here then. You're out of here. <laughs> oh my god! This thing is nuts! <laughs> oh, we're out of here though. They ain't catching me. Look at this thing. I'm just going. Sounds like we lost the guy in Chinatown. Keep looking. My goodness. Ugh. Oh my lord. Okay, we gotta are we close at all? Like all cars not you called off abandoned search and return to patrols. Oh, Officers reporting a race car driving at speed through the city. Anyone else see this? <laughs> well, I mean, it's difficult to freaking. All officers, search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Here. <laughs> Tommy Angela. I try Lucas not to Bertone. hit it, but. It is what it is, I oh, guess. Ain't she a thing it's difficult. The thing we is so fast. Time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. I think I would uh, close the garage if I were you. Hello, you. Okay. Okay, she's done. Nice. What time is it, though? Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna 
misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Imagine this is gonna work. It's gonna be crazy because there's probably gonna be like no brakes, etc. All right, here we go. All right, so we gotta get on the bridge, I think. Should take a left there. Okay, here we go. No cops so far. Just gotta be super careful. I'm trying not to get a hit because, you know. Oh, wait, we, it's gonna overheat. Oh, okay, so we gotta be careful with overheating. Got it. Let's get, let's get it going and then we'll freaking. Not as fast. But we'll get we'll get it going and then uh, we'll let it cool down the way down. It cools down a lot actually. Handling is not very good either. As you can see, I'm kind of swerving. I'm not doing that. It's like the car doing that. Okay. Be careful here. Oh my god, this handling is horrible. Uh, get around him. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh. Handling is so bad. Okay, let it cool down a little bit. Excuse me. Doing stuff here. You need to get out of my way. I only have three minutes. We gotta be getting pretty close, right? That makes sense to me. Ah. It's right up here. At least it cools down pretty fast. It's not like a freaking thing where it takes a little bit of time. Like, it's just let go for a little bit and then it'll it'll uh, cool down. All right, we're right up here. Yep. We didn't really hit a lot of people, so that's good. I actually did pretty decent on that part. I thought we were going to be hitting a lot more people than we did. Christ. Should I have uh to go. backed up into that? Because I didn't we didn't we, we kinda pulled okay, out. out of here. You know what I'm saying? Are that gonna like matter? I hope not. He's a nice car though. Here we go, we're gonna watch him. So Sam walks out of the bathroom and I'm praying got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. <laughs> Who are you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just got to make them think you're crazy. Tom. <laughs> You got a moment. Oh. Sure, Frank. We've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some oh, we're going to race. Up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Sent him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. 
Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, I mean, Frank, you gotta do what you gotta on. do, I guess. Coffee has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. My lord. I guess we're doing it. <laughs> They're like, ah, just do it, I guess. <laughs> oh. oh my god. You gotta do what the Don wants. Alright, here we go, guys. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. Of course, we are way in the back too, so. Okay, here we go. They're ready to start. I'm gonna be probably fully focused mode, just letting you guys know. We got three three laps. Lichtenberg is out. The favorite is You're kidding me! Okay, we're gonna hit this. Go on the right side. Let me in here. Let me in here. You kidding me? What? Yeah, I play dirty, son. I'm part of the freaking mafia. We don't play by the rules. Let's go. Okay. We gotta get up there. We're on seventh. Gonna hit this. Shit, asshole! Got in my way. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Taylor, Anderson, Angelo, all still in the mix, with time still left to go. Here we go. Two. Come on, baby, I'm gonna pass your ass. I wanna try to pass you before we get to the down this corner. Oh, shit! Tommy Angelo, take two. Alright, we're still good. We're alright. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You ain't doing that. Are these the final podium places? You think you'd be better than me? Oh! Time. Oh my god. Relax. Hell yeah, we are. We're gonna go on the side like this. Like that. And then bring it in. Oh, well, we're out of here, coach. We are out of here, coach. We donezos. Woo, we going so fast. Ah, oh, too fast. Uh oh, way too fast. Yeah, we gotta watch that for these corners. These things are not good with handling. Obviously, we're going like 200 miles an hour. It is what it is. We're still in first, so it don't really matter. Gotta slow and steady wins the race. You know, we, know, we ain't got no hurry. We're still in first. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go up a little bit heavy like this. Bring it in. Straight stretch here. We're making some <clears throat> time here. I want to try to get as, uh, as far ahead as I can. That way, uh. Yeah, this turn. This turn gets me every time. But, uh. Try to get ahead as much as I can just in case we do wreck, you know? Especially there. That one's a doozy. I used to be fairly decent at racing games. I kind of lost my touch. Go. And these cars are freaking nice. Bring it out on the side here. Bring it in tight. It's a tight pack as they oh, we out of here. here. Yeah, right here. We're gonna make up some ground here. Yeah, we can't even see the freaking some of the dots on the map. Oh yeah, we're out of here. Okay, slow down a little bit here. A nice little turn right there. Okay. That white dot and that red dot and the black dot. Those three. Oh yeah, we're holding on. Look at us, bro. We out of here. Hit this thing.
Oh yeah, we're good. Newcomer, Only a four minute in, lap, or per three laps here. There we go. Nice little one. Here's that one doozy corner that we freaking usually Who's going to hit. The driver, Tommy okay, we're good. Weird noise there. Okay, we're on that final stretch here. Just one more corner, and then we are good. We're gonna bring it in tight. And then we just uh, home stretch right here. Come me the friggin' dawn, baby. We in this. Woo! Easy peasy, baby. Ooh, girl likes that. Some nice cars. I like that. The Don's gonna love that, dude. Hey, Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom. Just wanna thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. Here we go, here's the dawn. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Huh? Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Ooh, nah, Sarah. Got off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Well, we kind of like that Sarah girl. Let me tell you something. Alright guys, we're gonna be ending it right here. We have a little bit left to do in this little general vicinity, but uh, we're gonna find Polly in the next episode and go from there. So if you guys enjoyed it, Make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share your friends. Those guys, my name is Johnny, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye!